Welcome back to another episode of Infocami Weekly. Welcome back to another episode of Infocami Weekly. The first one for months. Look at this day. Amazing day. So we've started silage yesterday. Um, it's really windy. Hopefully my mic is working again. I think I've sorted it. So I'm hoping it's working. It's not too bad in the wind, but you can see the windmills at St. John's Wells going. I'm not sure if you can pick that up, but in the background there, Andrew is just going round in the blower and John is carting in the fence, my cousin John. So just going to go across here and get some drone shots. Um, Apologise, it's been so long since I've done a video. It's been so busy at work. Um, we, For anyone that um, actually gets milk from us, um, we started a new system and it just took so long to get across. Um, I had to manually move across about 350 people as well. And it's just eating into my time massively. I needed to prioritise that. So it's kind of all set up now. Um, hopefully everything is right now. It's just a matter of just the phones arrived yesterday. It's only for the drivers, it only works on Android. So they've got a delivery app that they can log all the deliveries and um, returns and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully it is operational as of starting next week, if not the end of this week. I got the, the three phones arrived yesterday for the drivers. So hopefully I can get that set up um, for maybe the Thursday and Friday deliveries and then that'll be everyone on the new system. So. That'll cut down massively in the workload because it actually costs, probably cost me um, about 10 hours a week just now doing the routing, routing um, and that'll be all automated now. So it'll just be dependent on um, you guys um, either messaging us to change your orders or obviously being able to pause and stuff like that or change quantities and that yourself now. So that's just something about people obviously that actually order from us, they'll know. But anyway, back onto the silage. It's really dry, severe lack of rain. We had a little bit of rain yesterday, but that is um, all we've had in weeks. So the silage is really quite dry. It's probably wilted quite a bit, but you can see, obviously windmills in the background, as I said, it's in John's Wells, but you can see um, the bouts have wilted quite a bit because I've been lying. I think dad actually cut this field on Saturday. It was either Saturday or Sunday. I think it was Saturday, but not a lot of moisture left in it, which can be good and can be bad. Um, it just depends. Too dry and we find it doesn't keep very well. Um, but, well, the well, proof is in the pudding, I guess. But I'll try and get the drone up, get some shots here. But obviously it's pretty much going to be sales most of the week, maybe with a few other things. But I'm hoping really to try and get a head start because I'm filming this today. Um, what is the date today? The date is the 13th, so I'm filming this on the 13th, but the video's not going to come out till the 25th, so I'm hoping to give myself a couple of weeks to edit it and hopefully try and get a video up regularly every Sunday like I used to do um, for a foreseeable future, but as I say, it's been a while since, so let's get a drone up and see how we go on.
first field completed. So you can see the sail is fitting now. It probably looks almost half full, but it'll tramp down a fair bit. Really dry. Just uh, molting the drum just now because I think it's a lot it's longer than I'd like. The fact it's drier doesn't help, but it's a bit longer, so we'll be getting the doors in tomorrow, hopefully. Um Helen our um backbone in Vercami, as she would say, is on holiday just now, so I am in the shed um uh, Wednesday and Thursday, so I'm not sure how much filming will get done, but um it's the last load that was tipped, so we'll Hopefully get the doors in tomorrow and we'll get another, everything else that's cut, I think, will hopefully be in tomorrow. And then after that we're just going to cut, well, Dad cut the outsides of two of their fields, so obviously with it being so dry, it's not ideal. So I think we're just going to cut in front of the blower, so we'll basically cut the same day as we're taking in. So there's hopefully that's still a little bit of moisture in the, in the stem, um, but we'll find out. Right, off to milk cows. I actually forgot to say... Apologies for the sound quality when I was getting the cows in. Uh, there was actually a microphone um, cable. I unplugged the external microphone because it ran out of battery. So the cable was bouncing off the microphone and the GoPro. That's why it was giving such interference. Uh, apologies. Right. It's milking time. Don't think I'm going to film. I'm running so late. I'm not filming the milking this week or certainly not tonight. But we'll see if we can get something uh, later in the week or in a future episode. Just a way to get the cows in now. Now. Last couple of nights they've actually broke through the fence. Got a bit of an issue with um, the grass just now actually. Thankfully they're not through the fence tonight. But basically we strip grade um, two fields this time of the year. Obviously grass goes normally pretty good this time of the year. Um, only issue is that field that they were in about, I'm not sure, 15, 20 days ago. The first time it's seen rain was yesterday. So I'm a little concerned. Normally we're pulling them out of this field because it's getting so long at the top. Like it's up to my knees now, which is way too long. And um, normally we'd cut it and put it in the silage bales or into the pit. Um, just so like, because they don't eat it as well when it gets so long, but you can see how dry it is. It's not greening up again at all. It's just, it's getting burnt out a little bit just with a lack of rain. But that field has came on a little bit with the rain yesterday, but it wasn't even that much rain. It was a thinner plump at one stage, but as I say, it's 15, 20 days without any rain. Mum's with me as well, she's just coming to help me get the medic. So we're through the fence again, because I took about half an hour of them running back and forward to get them through last night. I couldn't manage. Once mum came and gave me a hand, I managed no bother, but ignore all the, the weeds. Definitely have to do something about that next year, because this field actually last year wasn't actually too bad um, but it's quite bad all the way up this field now and that field there is quite good at the top but it's horrendous at the bottom absolutely horrendous so they say we'll go and get these in hopefully get some rain I'll actually show you just now actually the length of the grass it's horrendous horrendously long you can see that they're not eating it as well it's just wasting it but I just can't afford to put them in that field yet because there's no growth they'll be up there within a week because I have to give them that much which is no use at all. Also, I'll come back out here tonight and they'll tidy that up a little bit more. But you can see how long it is there. Look at the state of that fucking... Ooh, shouldn't you swear? Look at the state of that. Like, horrendously bad now. So I think we're going to have to plough up one of these, the worst field of the two. We're going to end up ploughing up, um, putting in barley for next year. Probably put it in for a good couple of years at least to try and get rid of these weeds. Because... Horrendous really bad it just gets worse and worse the seeds just spread it just gets worse and worse every year but that one's actually looking quite clean over there so it'll probably be this one maybe have to plow up yeah, but that's the plan anyway whether it materializes or not i don't know but we won't get these cows in and get them milked had some milk bottled so thought i'd go and get the drone camera uh it's john just coming out of the field with some silage just let him go first So thought I'd go and get the drone. See, well, we finished the first field across there. Um, we did a bit up the road as well. Had a few breakdowns yesterday, actually. Chain broke. Lost the joining link, so we had to go and get a joining link. Um, just got this field to finish. Um, 
We've actually got another two and a half fields to do yet, but I just don't think it'll fit in the pit. But we'll have a look at the pit after the guys are finished, but it's fairly climbing now. So I'll try and get a drone up in the air. Hopefully having a really, I've ordered a new cable actually for the drone because it's really struggling to get it to connect to my phone. Spent about two hours in the first day trying to get it to take flight. Right, let's see if we can get it up. Well, that's the milking finished again. Um, drone, Operation Drone was a nightmare. Couldn't get it connected to my phone, so I'm gonna have to try and nip to Inverroo tomorrow, see if we can get a cable that matches. You can see the silage pit now. Um, it's fairly getting high now. And that's only two and a half fields done. We've still got another two and a half to go. Dad told me that it wasn't a big crop this year. Now. Obviously, it will tramp, it's sort of tramp a fair bit, and the fact that it's dry won't help any. So there's a fair bit you can get in the bottom corners here yet, but it's quite high up there. So, it will tramp a fair bit, but unfortunately it just never tramps the same when it's dry. So, we'll see how we get on tomorrow, but fingers crossed I can get a cable from my drone so I can get it back up in the air. Welcome back. It's Friday, and it's no good news. Never got, well you'd have seen yesterday, I never got the drone up. Cable is not connecting at all to my phone now, so it's really annoying. Only do silage in the pit for one week of the year and when I actually need the drone, I don't have it, so I'm really annoyed. So I'm just taking a walk up the field. This is a field the cows are going into potentially tomorrow. There's actually more grass in it than I thought. I'm gonna go up and see how they're getting on. See if we get some shots with a camera by hand, but it's not the same, is it? Really disappointed. So, John's just traveling up here. Unfortunately, this is the only field we can do it. So, we are tramping a little bit of grass, but just the way it is. So, I'll just go and have a look to see how they're getting on. I think Dad said he cut, was it 11 rounds around this field? And um, pit's fairly filling up as we've seen yesterday. So, fingers crossed we can get finished sooner rather than later because the rest will be to bail. So, um, the less to bail, the better, really, but I suppose some would say the more the more to bail, the better, because it means we've got more silage, but we've got a good crop of first cut this year, without a doubt. Uh, as I said, we've still got um, probably guts of 20 acres yet to go, so there should be quite a few bales if there's as much on the other field as there has been so far, so we'll see. As I said, Dad just cut this this morning. Um, reason being, as I said, I think maybe I said the other day, it's just been so dry. We've literally had rain maybe an hour in the last 20 plus days. So everything's burning up now. Got good grass growth, while there's a bit of moisture in the air in the evenings and stuff like that, and a bit of heat. But now we're just so badly needing some rain. So to keep a little bit of moisture, we've just cut it basically this morning. If we leave it sitting any longer, it'll just end up being like hay. So that's why it's cut. That's why the whole field's not cut, basically. We'll see if the pit huds this, and then if it does, when we cut a little bit more to do later today. But just, we need rain. We need to start doing rain dances or something, because it's just so warm. Probably maybe near 30 degrees today.
Welcome back. It's Sunday morning and we have bailed. Well, I bailed about 50 odd bales yesterday. So harsh yesterday, didn't get any video done and I'm kind of not having a drone is um, a bit of a blow. So I, I didn't video anything yesterday. So I'm just a way to set up now to get these wrapped. I think there's about 50 odd. So the plan is, I think that's our silos left from last year. I think the plan is to actually put it down this fence side here just so we can tell it apart from the uh, first cut and the second cut. So the other stuff will run down that fence side and this um, first cut will run down this side. I think that's, that's the plan that I've been told anyway. So try and go get set up and get started. nothing ever easy ever can be. So controller here, the cigarette lighter and the tractor's not working so it's not charging it. So I've got 25 bales wrapped. Disappointed with how untidy they are. I had to bale a tine right up and they're still pretty untidy. But there's still 26 I think to to wrap. Baler, baler, wrapper has stopped because for safety reasons I'm assuming when the controller switches itself off it will not do any more so I'm waiting to put it in another trap there. They're still doing some um, silage for the pit. Um, they're trying to fit as much in as they can. So today will be the last day, but I'm just running out of time to film now, really. Um, but anyway, I'm leaving it this week. That's Invercami Weekly back. Hopefully I will have time now to um, edit it for not this coming weekend, but the next, I think I said I would do it, it's 25th. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next week.